guys, how's it going? It's that nerd Ryan here, and this kind of came out of nowhere. So originally the plan for this week was we we're going to be watching the first Kingsman movie. Now that's going to be pushed back two months because of October, but a friend invited me to go and see Labyrinth with them um, for its 25 year anniversary, and I've only seen bits and pieces of this movie, so this is going to really be my first time seeing it. Um, all I know is that David Bowie's in it, you can kind of see his stuff with the pants that he's wearing, and that there's a lot of animatronic in it. Um, I don't know if it's called animatronic, or like puppeteering, I should say. Yeah, there's a lot of puppeteering in it and everything. And my camera's acting a little wonky, so I do apologize for that. Um... Hopefully it's just on this end. If, uh, but, and basically get right into it. Still recording good. It's the important part. <laughs> oh yeah, it's an Apple movie. <laughs> Star Pictures announces the collaboration of three extraordinary talents. Jim Henson created... That's another move. Maybe we'll do Dark Crystal next week. Oh, oh, okay. George Lucas is awesome. If I remember right, isn't Jennifer Connelly married to Paul Bettany? Okay, don't um, demonetize me for having this in my trailer, or my trailer reaction, I'm just going to talk over it, so I don't get um, any demonetization copyright strikes or anything like that, so I'm just going to keep talking, so if I do that, I'm sorry if it's getting annoying that I keep talking, but I have to. The world of Labyrinth. Alright, um, so yeah, like I said, I haven't really seen this movie all the way through before, and really, the trailer didn't add much to guess. So, uh, yeah. Well, anyways, that's the opening. Let's get into this movie, and hopefully my camera's fixed by then. It's that nerd Ryan watching the movie now. Well, that was an experience. Um, a good one, I think. But, uh, yeah. So actually, this was really fun to see in theaters because they did, it was like a special event sort of thing, and they're doing Transformers, uh, the original Transformers soon, so I might go and do that, even though we already have a review posted of it, I feel like it's going to be fun to do. Um, but yeah, so like, I know it was uh, the guy that made the Muppets and everything, but like, how they're explaining how everything was made and everything like that, it was just really, really cool to kind of see that even though I did use the restroom during it, um, but the movie itself was pretty good. Um, so like I said, I saw bits and pieces of it beforehand, however, um, I did not see the full complete thing. There's certain parts that were the best parts in the movie that I never saw before, and um, certain characters that I didn't realize certain things about. Um, so, in it, David Bowie was great, obviously, and something I never noticed was uh, you could kind of see something else on David Bowie in that movie that I can't say because I don't want to get demonetized. <laughs> uh, if this ever were to be able to be monetized, I don't want to get it demonetized. Um, but that is Jennifer Connelly, I think was her name, yes. So that's who I thought it was. Um, and the, 
the creatures and puppets and everything were just really, really cool in this movie. Uh, my favorite character and my favorite puppet, well, I guess it's not a puppet because I think it's a guy in a suit, but Ludo. Absolute favorite character. I always like the big dumb animals, except Ludo's not dumb, he's cool. Um, but I will say this, it really, really reminded me of Wizard of Oz. I got a lot of Wizard of Oz feelings from this movie. Um, I will say too, the ending kind of felt awkward. Um, the main character Sarah, Jennifer Connelly's character Sarah, is really kind of a brat. Like a total, which I get the point, but it was like, there's brat, and then there's just pure, unadulterated, terrible child. And she's that. Um, another weird thing I caught was, I think David Bowie's character, Jareth, is supposed to fall, or is, like, in love with her, which is really awkward because she's, like, a teenager at the time, which just feels weird. I mean, I get it, he's a mythical being, being a Goblin King, but still, it's, like, awkward. <laughs> um, so, my favorite scene has to be the bog of eternal stench. I literally, so like, I'm not one for fart jokes. I'm really not. But it broke me. I literally was laughing in tears after about probably the 12th fart in that scene. Like, you just hear it in the background and everything, and I just, like, I was in tears. It just broke me, and that's why it became my favorite scene, because it literally broke me. Um... But yeah, this is pretty good film. Again, Ludo's my favorite character. My least favorite part, again, has to be the beginning. Just because it felt like overacting and like, Oh, someone's in my... Like, the most awkwardest line in it. Someone was in my room! I hate it! I hate it! And I'm like, oh my god. Bad kid. Like, just the overacting in that. But yeah, so, um, that's basically all I gotta say about that. Um, so, I do give this movie a 8 out of 10. Must watch movie, very good movie. 35 years old, wow. Um, but really, really good movie. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you leave a like, make sure you comment, make sure you subscribe, and also follow me on my, all my social media down below. Um, we're one subscriber away from my goal for the year as of me recording this video. Um, and... It was still a little short on the other stuff, so if you're not followed on any of my other social media, please do so. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. It's that Nerd Ryan telling you.